but this year, 2022, I think we'll drop below 1.5% on that. So only, only 21 million Bitcoin can ever be created or close to it. It doesn't matter if Bitcoin is 100,000 or, or 20 million, there's only going to be that many of them. So um, all you have to really believe is that the demand for Bitcoin will go faster than 1.5% you know, over the next number of years, and the price inexorably will go up. So I've, I've, I've only recently been allowing myself to be described as a Bitcoin bull. I used to tell people, they say, oh, you're a Bitcoin bull, you, you own a lot of Bitcoin. I'm like, I do own a lot of it, but I'm actually a Bitcoin observer, and I'm observing its trajectory as a new technology, and comparing it to the trajectories of things like uh, the printing press, or the steam engine, or the railroads, or the automobile, or electricity, and, and it's following that very, uh, not predictable, because it's not predictable, certainly in the early, early days, a well-understood path for the adoption of new technologies. And, you know, Stan, I think it was Stan Druckenmiller uh, said earlier in the year that, and, and now he owns Bitcoin, by the way, 